So it's Friday night, and you know what that means. Yeah, that's right. Friday night game dev challenge. So, I've been working in Unreal Engine for a couple of months now, and I've made a few short games within that time. These have taken about two to three weeks, but now I feel like I know the engine well enough that I can do one even faster. I'm going to try to make one in four hours. But sir, you won't have time to bake the lights too. It's not possible. No, it's necessary. Okay, so let's start the time. Okay, first we're gonna need an idea. So let's see what we have in here. Golf. Now that we have the idea, let's start up Unreal. Okay, so while we're waiting for Unreal to launch, let's make a game plan. It doesn't need to be very detailed, just a list of what we need to create. Okay, so we need to be able to rotate, zoom and shoot. We also need a game loop, so a fail state, which is just uh, getting out of bounds of the map. A win state, meaning you hit the hole. And a counter, to keep a check on the number of times we hit the ball. Cause... Golf. Okay, let's check if Unreal's ready. No? Well okay then, let's continue planning. For UI, we're gonna need a main menu to be able to select levels, and a pause menu to be able to pause and exit the game. We're also gonna need some assets. Rocks, trees, lag with a hole, water and grass pieces. If there's time, which I doubt, we'll work a little on some music and audio. So first, we need to make the control and shooting mechanics. I'm actually gonna base this off this Christmas game I made, where the basic movement mechanic is quite similar. We'll go into that game and see how Santa moves. <laughs> Yo ho ho ho! What are you doing, Step Santa? So, this is the sort of movement I'm after. So let's just yoink that over to the new game and adjust some things. I'll replace the Santa model with a sphere and just see how it looks. Okay, that did not seem to work. Let's uh, check the blueprint and see what's wrong. Ah, just as I expected. We have a case of a bad blueprint. Santa seemed to have put us on the naughty list for copying his code. It's uh, not very nice to be called a bad blueprint, so we'll make it from scratch to fit our game. I'll base the movement around the built-in projectile movement and add rotations and zoom. Let's try it. Success. Perfect. We've got golf. Scuffed edition. Zero collision. Nah, but uh, really that was an easy fix that had to do with the projectile movement and how the collisions work with it. However, that's one thick ball. I mean, we're not playing football, right? <laughs> you know, because uh, football bigger than golf ball. Uh, the golf ball looks more like the right size. So we can now shoot it around and it feels pretty good to control. Nice! That took about an hour or so, so we got plenty of time left. I then quickly added some blueprint logic to keep a check on the amount of hits, or as they call it in golf. <laughs> Brokes. With that implemented, I realized that I needed some UI. I quickly added a pause menu and a main menu scene. This main menu scene is simply used to select levels and quit the game. It also shows how the controls work and some quick volume settings. I then added a HUD which simply shows you how many strokes you're at in the level. Okay, before we implement the win and fail state, we need to make some assets for the levels. And you know what that means. Blender time! So, how do we do this? Well, all you need to do is just go in here and... Uh... No! Please, mercy! No, I, I must. Please! Don't do it, I have children! I have, I have no choice, I'm sorry. And of course, we then need to start off by making a cube. For the levels, I made some simple modular pieces that I quickly textured with an atlas texture with individual colors. I also made some low poly rocks and low poly trees for details and to be used as obstacles. These parts I can quickly throw together a bunch of levels directly in Unreal. So I threw together this first level quickly and changed some settings for the golf shot so it fit the map size. After that I made a win state which is just a trigger volume that is added to the hole by the flag. 
The same goes for the losing state, which is another trigger volume for areas that are out of bounds. If that is hit, the level simply reloads and you start from the beginning. But now, it's time to bake the lights. So I used the generated light map UV that Unreal creates for each model, and then I hit bake. Well, that looks like sh**. If we use the light map density filter in Unreal, we can see that only the rocks actually have a good light map texture density. The rest is blue, and we want those to be green. This can be fixed by either increasing texture sizes of the light maps, or making our own light map UV. I went with the second option, otherwise I had to have huge light map sizes. Back to Blender. In Blender I have to generate a light map UV for each model. One hour later. Okay, so uh, Unreal really needs to work on a batching option when changing settings, because this took forever. But hey, look at that, the light map density is correct. Let's build it again. Noise! That actually looks pretty good. I then finally threw together six levels and called it done. And what's the final time for this game? Five hours and 28 minutes. Okay, I didn't make it in four hours. Uh, I will say, however, if I had not had the problems with the light building and had made fewer levels, I probably would have been done much closer to four hours. Even so, I'm happy with what I managed to do. If you liked the video, consider subscribing. Also, I'm currently developing a multiplayer horror game. If you want to check out how I'm doing that, click this video. Thanks for watching. Ciao!